The use of blockchain in bond issuance is gathering pace globally, and China, which is an enthusiastic adopter of the technology, is at the forefront of this. The appeal of blockchain's incorporation to debt issuance appears obvious, given its ability to keep confidential data secure. To look at this in more detail, we're joined now by Dr. Xuan Zhao, Senior Engineer at China Central Depository and Clearing Company, also known as China Bond, in Beijing. Thanks for joining us here on Cybos TV. Good to see you. <laughs> Shuan, can you give us a... <laughs> Brilliant. Shuan, can you give us a brief introduction to the application of blockchain in the bond business? Sure. Today we are going to talk about the blockchain application in bond business. You know, uh, bond is a very important financial instrument. The market cap is actually uh, over $100 trillion, pretty important. And as blockchain has played a more significant role in the financial world, the major influential financial institutions are trying their best to, you know, bring the blockchain into bond business. It started actually in 2018 when World Bank and Common Bank created the first blockchain bond. It's called Bond I, standing for a blockchain offer, a new data instrument. This is the first one. And uh, earlier this year, in April 2021, uh, European Investment Bank actually raised its first ever digital bond on public chain. It's 100 million bonds actually registered on Ethereum. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a more important breakthrough in the near future, quite near. This is really hot area right now. Fascinating. Uh, gr great to have you here, Sean. We love the rotating artwork in the background. <laughs> We've been admiring it here in the studio. Um, talk to us a bit about the benefits of integrating blockchain in the bond business. Sure. Uh, normally, when we talk about the benefits of Blockchain, we think about decentralization as data privacy protection and data transparency. And specifically in bond business, I think the major advantages are to you know, streamline the processes and then achieve fast and secure transaction. Let me take the bond issues as an example, which is uh, what I'm working on. And uh, previously, it's very complicated. A lot of data consolidation going back and forth and internally, externally. Uh, primarily because of data inconsistency between the financial institutions. With blockchain, things are going to be different because blockchain promotes a single source of truth among stakeholders. And data can be you know, verified and shared and synchronized in the whole network and in real time. Therefore, it actually keeps everybody on the same page and eliminates processes substantially. This is quite important. Meanwhile, with the adoption of smart contract, which is a program, the automation of the, uh, of the business is possible because the execution, I mean, the transactions are executed automatically without human iteration based on predefined terms and conditions. And actually streamline the processes, makes the transaction really fast and secure. This is based on my working experience. Mm. Now, Shuan, as you've suggested, security matters in the financial world. Could you tell us um, a little bit more about risk management through blockchain? Sure. For risk management, I'm going to figure out uh, uh, some points. One of the most important features of blockchain is the temper proof. It actually makes the data on blockchain immutable. It is guaranteed by cryptography and the consensus algorithm and it makes a lot of difference for data security. It's going to keep the data really, really hard to temper. This is the first one. And then I'm going to say the data transparency matters a lot because uh, on blockchain, the data actually verified without revealing its content. That's exactly the reason why the data can be shared and uh, verified and transferred among shareholders. You don't have to worry about the privacy issue. This is uh, going to have uh, important impact on application for regulators or for you know, uh, risk management. We can use real-time monitoring to actually aud audit the transactions, make sure there's no financial misconduct or crimes. And also for participants, uh, you know, better transparency could create a more competitive environment where the, you know, the risk of underwriting for settlement or even uh, dispute are going to be minimized. That's uh, what I think of. Uh, I mean, that all sounds fantastic, but how about the blockchain integration in yeah. your company? Uh, what's happening here, Shuan? 
Well, my firm is also known as China Bond. Our mission is actually maintain the stability and the security of the bond infrastructure in China. Uh, you know, we took a very careful step to adopt blockchain to our business. We want to leverage the blockchain to, you know, bring more business, provide better service. Meanwhile, we want to do it in compliance. And uh, currently in bond issuance, uh, data actually can be digitized and stored as hashes on chain and verified by authorized user. Therefore, a substantial number of processes are eliminated. And also smart contracts helps us to, you know, uh, achieve real-time settlement in the future. I'm pretty sure that's going to be uh, the year or next year or something like this. Projects are still ongoing and so far so good. Brilliant. And Shran, let's look at the uh, bond ecosystem more broadly. How do you think blockchain could help build and grow it? To help the whole community, personally, I think I'm thinking of the following is first, uh, know your customer could be easier. Comparing with uh, previous uh, or current KYC, blockchain offers an alternative. For example, stakeholders can build a consortium group on blockchain, then the KYC checks can be shared among each other without worrying about the, you know, the privacy issue. It's going to be effective. And then smart contract, I think, because there are a lot of rules and regulations or some even agreements between counterparts in bond. We can actually put them in smart contract embedded in the co ecosystem. Then the interest of our stakeholders are going to be protected. I think the administrative barrier will be reduced a lot. This is this is the second. And third one, I think, is for, uh, for post-trade. You know, the sediment and clearance things. Currently, uh, the infrastructure remain highly fragmented, primarily, I think, because of lack of automation. Blockchain has a potential to disrupt the clearing and sediment cycle and reduce the cost a lot. And, and Sean, perhaps uh, maybe a brief answer. What's your vision for the future of a blockchain-based bond? Well, definitely I see opportunities. You know, blockchain opens doors for new businesses, um, uh, bond business. And, uh, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of projects initiated to test, to experiment on the combination of blockchain and bond. Uh, meanwhile, I do see some challenge as well, you know, during the course of implementing those projects, encounter some stakeholders, they told, they told us, blockchain is just market hack. We don't think it's going to work. We think current many workflow is fine. Don't change. Well, that happens. Uh, and uh, for transparency, some people say, well, it's good, but good for what? Good probably for investors, but probably not for dealers and brokers because more uh, transparency means more competition. It's going to take them I mean, investor, uh, uh, the dealers and broker more cost to hedge your position. This is conflict of interest. We're going to have to leave it to the market. But uh, uh, anyway, overall, I'm still confident in blockchain. I think it's going to be the future. Wonderful. A great note to end on. Uh, Xuan Zhao, thank you so much for joining us on Cybos TV.